Before Harrison Ford as Han Solo, or Arnold as the Terminator, big screen science fiction had a hairy face. Now, 30 years later, Charlton Heston and Planet of the Apes are back. And Leonard Maltin has our exclusive look at the making of a classic in the Entertainment Tonight cover story. It created a new genre, the space opera. The world gone insane. It's been three decades since Charlton Heston crash-landed on the planet of the apes and began an adventure that captivated a generation. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! The film's simian star was Roddy McDowell, who's celebrating the movie's anniversary by unearthing rare home movies he shot on the set. And I got a private screening. What was your first reaction to the project when you heard about it? I just thought it was wonderful. I mean, just so imaginative and so off the walls. McDowell's home movies can be seen in a new AMC documentary, Behind the Planet of the Apes. Had to look into the mirror as we ate so that we would not destroy the appliances during lunch hour. 20th Century Fox was nervous about their cast of talking apes, concerned that the monkey makeup wouldn't look real. Man here is an animal. So the studio Man commissioned this animal. makeup test, with a young James Brolin as a chimpanzee Lost. on the left, and the legendary Edward G. Robinson as Dr. Zeus. If man had a civilization here, what happened to it? Roland's role ultimately went to McDowell, yeah, and the ailing Robinson declined his. He said, that makeup yeah, drives me crazy. He said, I got a bum heart as it is. He said, I, I've got to pass. That makeup test convinced the studio that they had a winner. And in May of 1967, production began on a science fiction sensation. The revolutionary ape designs left McDowell and co-star Kim Hunter stranded in their makeup chairs for hours. It was four hours getting it all on, I don't know, three, four different kinds of glue, hair all around that had to be tucked on and, and a wig. Being somewhat claustrophobic, I almost went insane. I thought, I can't do it. I will die. Heston avoided the monkey makeup but had to endure his own torture. Like a lot of parts you've played, this one was really physical. I would say it's physically the most taxing role I've ever played. I was whipped. I was soaked with a fire hose. It's a man hose! A man hose! It really wasn't a, a pleasant day's work, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Thank you, Leonard. American Movie Classics' new documentary, Behind the Planet of the Apes, featuring Roddy McDowell's home movies, airs with all five Planet of the Apes movies over Labor Day weekend. Restored versions of all the movies will be released on home video by 20th Century Fox tomorrow. And there's much more from Charlton, Roddy, and the rest of the apes on ET Online.